hello guys welcome once again and welcome to my channel today in this video i will be showing you how you can deploy your angular build on your linux server so let's get started with this video hey guys if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do subscribe and don't forget to hit the bell icon so you can never miss an update so first of all i've already logged in into my DigitalOcean account and you can see here i will be creating a new server so I will be choosing region as Singapore and uh, here you can see it's asking for the version Ubuntu version so I'm taking the latest one only and it is just for BC requirement so I will go with the base server and you can see here it says password and I will just create a password here and I'll just paste the password and you can see here it's just for free so monitoring we will need this and I will also enable IPv6 for networking purpose and I will just name it as let's say web or whatever you want to give you can just give I'll just create a droplet here new droplet it will take time once this is created we'll go to the server and do the needful so instead of this right now what i will do is i'll just go to my project folder and i'll just create a new build here so you can see uh, i'll just create a new build here cmd and for creating a new build you have to just type ng build right now i'm using old version so i don't have to specify the you know dash uh, dash prod so it will directly generate a build for production itself and you can see here it, it's taking some time so guys just let's wait for the build to complete i'll just paste the password here this is the password of my server i'll just paste the ip also so this is my IP and you can see here so I'll just connect to my server so the command is ssh root at the rate the IP enter it will ask me for the password now I'll just copy the password from here I'll just paste it here and you can see we are into our server and uh, you can see the name also we named named it as web so you can see here so now what you have to do is you have to uh, run some command this is a fresh server right now so you have to just run some commands here so what you have to write here is sudo apt update enter up great sorry I spell it wrong so let's wait for this process to complete I think uh, our build is also successful now you can see here build is already created I'll just close this window here let's wait to complete this and uh, let me just copy my ip address here and let me just go to web browser and let's see what showing currently it says site cannot be reached so what you have to do is we will be installing nginx you can use apache also but i think nginx will be good so just let's wait for the installation to complete You have to run your last command which is sudo apt install ng Linux. let's install this now And once this is installation is complete you will able to see 
ngnx page when you will call the particular I will just show you so this is completed now when I go to the IP address and I refer the page you will be able to see this ngnx page here now we have to upload our build into the folder so what you have to do is you have to directly go to your project folder and once this is you can see here this is already done so you have to just create a bash new bash here and you have to just use a command to upload all these files uh, let me just show you this is the path where we are in you have to write scp dash r because this will be a recursive operation we need to upload all the files here so what you have to do is you have to just copy this path and just paste it here and now just front end and just put star because I want all the files to be uploaded so now what I will do is I will just write the path where I want to send this file so I will just copy the IP address and the password so I will just paste it here and I'll just uh, put colon and I will here type the path where I want to put these files so this is the path once I click enter it will ask me for the password server password I'll just copy the server password from here and I'll just paste it here and I'll just press enter and you will be able to see all the files are getting uploaded to the server right now if you want to see I can show you just let go to this folder and you can see here all these files are already now these are the files now what I will do is I'll just refresh the page here and you will be able to see the front end and you can see boom this is the way how it is done now our functionality is uh, sorry our website is already deployed and it's running here and you can see here let me just see whether my APIs are working or not so email does not exist so I think password is wrong maybe that's why and you can see here everything is working fine so in this way you can deploy your application so thanks for watching this video if you like the video don't forget to hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to my channel thanks for watching this video and bye for now